Hi everyone, let's practice some MCQs on male reproductive system. First MCQs is spermatogenesis in the testes is controlled by A. Luteinizing hormone, B. Growth hormone, C. Follicle stimulating hormone, D. Estrogen. The right option is follicle stimulating hormone. A spermatogenesis is the process of the production of sperms. How the sperm production is controlled? It is basically controlled. The main center is the hypothalamus, which releases the hormone gonadotropin releasing hormone, which stimulates the anterior pituitary to release the follicle stimulating hormone. Follicle stimulating hormone then acts on the testes, which contains the sertol sertoli cells. And then it stimulates the sertoli cells, cells for the production of sperms. MCQ2. Which cells synthesize and secrete testicular hormones like testosterone in a man? A. Sertoli cells. B. Mucus cells. C. Spermatogonia. D. Leydig cells. The right option is D. Leydig cells. Similarly, the main secretory center is the hypothalamus, which secretes the gonadotropin-releasing hormone which stimulates the anterior pituitary to release the LH, luteinizing hormone, which stimulates the leading cells for the synthesis and secretion of testosterone. Then testosterone is a hormone which acts on sertoli and is involved in the maturation and production of sperm cells. Question number three. Sperm are temporarily kept in A. Epididymis B. Waste difference C. Vice afferents. D. Blader. The right option is A. Epididymis. As you can see here, the epididymis, that is a coiled shaped structure present in the scrotum of each testes. The epididymis is a comma shaped elongated structure located on the posterior side of each testes within the scrotum. And it is tightly coiled tube, and if uncoiled, the, its size will be 6 meters long. And what is the function of epididymis? Epididymis, it is involved in the maturation of sperms. The sperms spend around three to seven days maturing and being stored in the epididymis. During this time, they undergo several changes that make them motile. Like they make them, when the sperms are able to motile and capable of fertilizing of an egg, then from the epididymis, they are released through waste difference a tube like structure question number four estrogen is required for normal reproductive function in the male where is the principal site of estrogen synthesis in the male a leydig cells b osteoblasts c liver cells d prostate cells the right option is c liver cells as the large amount of estrogen are formed from testosterone and androstenedol in the liver accounting for as much as 80% of the total male estrogen production. For the conversion of testosterone into estrogen, the enzyme is required, which is known as aromatase. As this is also important, it can also be asked in the MCQs that which enzyme is involved in the conversion or production of estrogen from the testosterone. So the aromatase Aromatase enzyme converts the testosterone into estrogen in the male. Question number five. The correct sequence of cell stage in spermatogenesis is a spermatogenesis is the process of the production of sperm. So this process is divided into different steps in a sequence. So you have to choose which sequence is correct. A, B, C, and D. So the right option or we can say that the right sequence in these options is D. Spermatogonia. First of all, there is the production of spermatogonia, the single cell which has the 46 number of chromosomes. Then they are converted into spermatocytes, then spermatids, and then finally spermatozoa. So the process of spermatogenesis goes through the process of meiosis in which there is the production of half number of sperm cells. As shown here, this is the process of the sperm production or which is this process known as spermatogenesis in which there is single cell which undergo then meiosis. 
this is the single cell and then we undergo meiosis at the end of this you get the four sperm cells and they are haploid cells which contains the half number of chromosomes as compared to that of the parent cell that is a spermatogonium then primary spermatocyte then it undergoes meiosis 1 secondary spermatocyte and then finally meiosis 2 we get the half number of chromosomes we with four cells the one cell is divided into four daughter cells then we get spermatids and when these spermatids matures we get the spermatozoa which leads to the production of the mature sperm cells question number six approximately how many sperm cells are produced by each testicle daily by a mature male a one b five thousand c two hundred the 85 million so obviously the result is in millions there is millions production of sperms in a male by each testicles in a day so the right option is d 85 million so these values can vary but still the values are in millions question number seven in males the structure that carries both sperm and urine out of the body is called a waste difference b ureter C. Epididym is D. Urethra. The right option is D. In males, urethra, this canal, is responsible for the excretion of sperm and urine, both by this single tract, which is known as urethra. While in case of females, the urine excretion and the uterus excretions are carried out by different routes. Question number eight. When the sperm reaches the ovum, it must first gain entry into the ovum by crossing its protective covering. Which of the following helps in degenerating the outer covering? A. Testosterone B. Androgen C. Acrosome D. High Aluronides The right option is High Aluronides. As you can see here, the surface of the sperms contain the High Aluronides enzyme. During entry of the sperm into the ovum, the acrosome that is present in the sperm releases this enzyme high aluronidase and then this high aluronidase dissolves the high aluronic acid present on the surface of the ovum. This helps in the penetration of sperm into the ovum. As shown here you can see the sperm does not enter itself but it releases its nucleus and the nucleus enters into the ovum and then starts the fertilization and now this is the this is the plasma membrane of the ovum and this is the fertilized membrane as by the entry of the nucleus of the sperm into the ovum. Question number nine, which of the following is responsible for the production and regulation of sperm cells? A. Seminal vesicles, B. Lydic cells, D. Sertoli cells, D. Copper's gland. The right option is C. Sertoli cells. As sertoli cells, when FSH stimulates sertoli cells, it leads to the production and regulation of sperm cells. As shown here, this is the histology of the testicle. And in these, the seven number, these are the sertoli cells. So these sertoli cells are involved in the production and regulation of sperm cells and they are stimulated by the hormone. The last MCQ, which of the following is the most common cancer in males? A. Testicular cancer. B. Prostate cancer, C. Perineal cancer, D. Bladder cancer. And the right option is B. Prostate cancer. It's according to American Cancer Society, they have declared that one in eight men will be diagnosed with the prostate cancer. But as this risk factor also may vary, it depends on the age of the person, race and ethnicity, and there may be also some other factors. In Pakistan, the prostate cancer is the second most cancer and the fifth leading cause of cancer-related deaths in men. Thank you for watching and keep watching other parts of these MCQs.